Why pre-write? Writing is a bridge that you build to open the flow of ideas between you, the writer, and your reader. When you take time to plan, your bridge will be strong and your reader will be able to make it across safely. However, when you build a bridge without planning, your bridge will bust and your reader will be lost. Kind of like this. Tacoma Narrows Bridge, dedicated in 1940, was the pride of the Northwest. Then, the third longest suspension span that became known as Galloping Gertie, as it swayed in the winds sweeping up Puget Sound. Four months after it was opened, those winds sent the bridge into a rhythmic dance of death. It literally shook itself to pieces. Caught in the middle of the bridge was a Tacoma newspaper man. bridge twists and sways in its death agony. Since its opening, engineers have studied ways to end its strange vibrations. They claim to be on the threshold of success, but too late. The reporter, Leonard Coatsworth, manages to fight his way to safety, most of the way on his hands and knees. He abandoned his car with a pet dog inside, the only life lost in the disaster. Cables are under stupendous strain as the great roadway of the bridge whips about like some fluttering ribbon. These pictures have been acclaimed as some of the greatest ever filmed. Here it goes. a six and a half million dollar dream. Theories were many, but the consensus was that the solid side railings were responsible. A twin bridge on the east coast, New York's Whitestone, has side railings that allow the wind to blow through. A footnote to history. The bridge was torn down for scrap and a new one built. But Galloping Gertie will always be remembered. So to be sure you don't lose your reader, or dog in a car off a bridge, be sure to plan and pre-write. Here are a few methods you might consider using. First, read and research. You don't always have to start with very scholarly journals to begin your research. You can also read Wikipedia, Google, all of these things are great places to get good ideas to start writing from. And then you can move to more scholarly sources to back up your writing. Talking is another great tool. It doesn't necessarily matter who you talk to, although you might want to get to your teacher or classmate, somebody who knows a little bit more about the subject, but some of us just need to talk to hear our own ideas mull around in our head, and that helps us come to a good concrete point to write about. Question. Ask so many questions. Ask who, what, when, where, why, how and so what. All these will help you get down to figuring out what you really, really want to write about. Now, outlining and diagramming aren't necessarily techniques that you'll want to use at the very beginning of the process. These are generally reserved to organize your thoughts after you've got them down. You'll see in this case that we've used a web diagram. Okay, this is a way to group our most important points in the center and branch out to the next most important point, and then the third if we wanted to go even one more level out. Um, so again, this is a great way to uh, group the things that you've read about or that you have um, talked about or questioned about. Free writing is a tool that some of us like and some of us hate. Um, essentially, you begin writing whatever comes to your mind when you think about the topic that you're supposed to be writing about. Now many of us might go ahead and just scrap this entirely so don't think this has to turn into a final draft but it can be a great idea to figure out what you want to write about. Now listing um, is as simple as it sounds. 
just start jotting down to the things that come to your mind. Um, if you do it a nice straight list down, um, we refer to that as listing. If it gets a little messy and you draw some lines and such like that, um, circles, underline, color, um, that might be a little bit more brainstorming. But again, this might be a good way just to get all your ideas out there. You don't have to think what's more important, less important. Um, and you could maybe do this before you move to the diagram. Remember that these are just a few of the different techniques and this is not the only time that you're going to encounter them in an essay because writing is recursive. So we go over the same steps multiple times in one piece of writing. And so you'll do some writing, you'll gather some ideas, gather some ideas, do some writing, do some revising, gather some ideas around and around and around. With that in mind, you need to make sure you allow yourself enough time to participate in this recursive process. So make sure that as soon as you get your writing guidelines, sometimes you have them as the first day of class, that you begin to think about what you might want to write about. Whether that be talking, questioning, or whatever technique that you like, go ahead and start that because at the end of the day, you're going to have a much better paper. And actually, you might not have spent as much time as you would have otherwise.